Hey, Gleek.io fans. Today, we will illustrate how the e-commerce website operates using an entity relationship diagram and Gleek AI chat. Open the app.gleek.io in your web browser. Next, click the New Diagram button. If you have a premium subscription, you'll find the Gleek Chat button at the bottom of the code field. Clicking this button will open a chat window where you can enter your prompt. For our purpose, we'll use Create an ER Diagram for an e-commerce website. Once you send this prompt, Gleek's AI chat will begin crafting your requested diagram. Once you receive the desired result, switch to Gleek Code Mode and edit the generated diagram. The initial ER diagram for your e-commerce website might include entities like user, order, product, and payment, with relationships such as user places order one to many, where each user can place multiple orders. Order contains product, each order can contain multiple products. Order has payment. Each order is associated with exactly one payment. To make this ER diagram more comprehensive, let's add more entities. We'll start by adding an address entity. Here's how you do it. Open a new line and type address. Press the Enter key, and Gleek will generate a rectangular shape representing the entity. To specify attributes, press the Tab key to create an indentation for the next line. Now, let's define the attributes for the address entity in the specified order, which includes data type, attribute name, attribute key, and a description enclosed in quotation marks. Here's what the attributes of the address entity will resemble. Unique identifier, address ID, primary key. This attribute serves as a unique identifier for each address entity. String, street. This attribute stores the street address of the location. String, city. This attribute records the city name associated with the address. String, state. It captures the state or region information. String, postal code. This attribute holds the postal or zip code. String, country. Here, you store the country information. Following this, include a cart entity with its associated attributes in the following manner. Unique identifier, cart ID, primary key. This attribute uniquely identifies each cart. Unique identifier, user ID, foreign key. This attribute links the cart to a specific user. Lastly, establish a shipping entity encompassing the following attributes. Unique identifier, shipping ID, PK. This attribute uniquely identifies a shipping entry. Unique identifier, order ID, FK. It links the shipping entry to a specific order. Address details. This attribute encompasses detailed information regarding the shipping address. With these entities added, we can now define the relationships between them. In Gleek's syntax, each relationship should be structured as follows. One user has one or many addresses. This relationship enables users to store multiple addresses for shipping or billing purposes, indicating a one-to-many relationship. One user has zero or one cart. This relationship allows each user to have either no cart or just one cart, indicating a one-to-zero or one relationship. One order uses zero or one cart. This relationship signifies that an order can be linked to either no cart or a single cart, indicating a one-to-zero or one relationship. One order can have one or more shipping entries, indicating that a single order can be associated with multiple shipping entries. With these relationships defined, your comprehensive e-commerce website, ER Diagram, is now complete. If you do not have access to Gleek Premium and Gleek AI Chat, remember that you can still construct an e-commerce website ER Diagram from scratch using the standard Gleek interface. Take a moment to explore the Gleek app, and please do not hesitate to share your thoughts in the comments. Enjoy diagramming!